Okay, so we have our sample data here on our little spreadsheet, and that includes the order date, region, rep, item, uh, the number of units, and the unit price. So the first thing we're going to want to calculate for this would be a total for each order. So what I'm going to do is click in cell G1, which is column G, row 1. That would be right there. And just left click on it and type in total. And to calculate that total, all we need to do is multiply the number of units times the unit price. So if you type in a cell and immediately, or if you click on a cell and immediately start typing, that lets Excel know that, that that's a text cell. If you want to add a formula, the first thing you're going to need to do is type equals. And that lets Excel know that everything after this is going to be a formula we're going to use. So what we're going to do is we need to multiply cell E2. So we'll click that, and it'll put it in there for us automatically. Um, next we'll need the multiply sign, which is shift 8, this little star, their asterisk. And we're going to multiply it by the unit price, so we will click F2 and hit enter. And that gives us our total for that particular order. Now we could type in this formula for each different row, um, but Excel has a much easier way to do it. If you select this cell that we just did, and you'll see the little green box at the bottom right corner, if you grab that and just drag it down, and to get to get it to go further down the page, you just go off the page a little. And Excel will automatically fill in that formula for each row. So as you see in the first one, we did E2 times F2. These are both relative cell references. So when you drag it down and copy it down, it's going to say, well, the next one needs to be E3 times F3. The next one after that, E4. So it corresponds to the row you're on. And so that gives us the total for each order we have. Next in H1, we are going to type in sales tax. So we can calculate how much sales tax we need per order. And don't worry about the fact that the, the font is different and it's a different color. We'll change all that later. And for the sales tax, we're going to need a sales tax rate to multiply by. So in I1 here, we are going to type in sales tax rate. And you'll notice that text goes into column J. A real easy way to resize your columns is if you put the cursor directly between the two columns and double click, it'll automatically change the column width to, to fit whatever you've got in there. So for the sales tax rate, let's do seven and a quarter. So that'll be 0 0.0725. And we'll just type that in straight off. And if we click on that cell again and right click on it, we will go to Format Cells. And you can do this for individual cells or for ranges of cells or for the entire worksheet if you wanted to. We're just going to do it for this sheet. And that will let us categorize our data, which makes it easier for Excel to work with. Um, there's also alignment and font and all that, all that other stuff you can use uh, that we'll mess with later. Um, but this is a percentage, so we're going to change the category here to percentage. And 7.25% is what it's going to look like. Um, two decimal places is perfect, so we'll hit OK. To calculate our sales tax, we just need to take the total times the rate. So for H2 here, we're going to take, and you can end, and once again, you can enter this formula here in the formula bar. I'm going to do this one in the formula bar. 
So we're going to click up here and type equals. And that, once again, lets Excel know that this is going to be a formula. We're going to take the total and multiply it again by the sales tax rate and hit enter and that gives us the amount of sales tax we're gonna need for that particular order well if we drag this down again and copy it we're gonna get errors which is blank cells because as we do as we copy it down it takes the total times whatever's in column I so what we're gonna need to do to fix that it's real easy um, we need to make this an absolute cell reference for cell I2 for the sales tax rate. To do that, all you have to do, click up here in the formula bar, we'll add a dollar sign in front of the I, which lets it know that the dollar sign signifies that it's always going to use column I. And then we will click between the I and the 2 and put another dollar sign and that lets it know it's always going to use column or uh, row 2. So now if we hit enter we'll select that and copy it down. Because of that absolute cell reference you'll notice on the next one down it, it, it's taking the total here in G3, which is 999.50, times I2, which is the sales tax rate, and in each cell, it's multiplying the total times that sales tax rate. So that's the first thing we're going to do. And our next video will do some totals and averages for these columns here.